Hello everyone and welcome to Smash Look at Whispers of a Machine. France here as always and it's a show where we take a first impressions look at new and upcoming titles. Like mentioned we have Whispers of a Machine which is developed by Clifftop Games and Faravide Interactive and published by one of the fantastic publishers around Raw Fury. So what is Whispers of a Machine you might be asking? Well it's a sci-fi Nordic noir story that it takes on, well you take on the story of Vera which is a cybernetically augmented detective set in a post AI world. Now what was granted the key for this guy so please bear that in mind. We're going to be jumping into Whispers of a Machine which of course is a point and click adventure title so if that is up your alley then of course you might enjoy this. First things first, options menu. Now we get English, Dutch, Spanish. Spanish and French here. We've got speech text time out and we have to have taken off the nudity so you guys can not see that. Got some lovely information here as well. All the music and speech and master volume are all split apart as well, which is great. Not really much of graphics front, but you'll probably see why. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump in and see what whispers of a machine are all about. This game uses automatic saves. Decisions are permanent, so you make choices carefully. The game also contains occasionally fast flashing images which may cause discomfort and trigger seizures. If you have full sensitivity epilepsy, viewer discretion is advised. So please bear that in mind if you're watching this. Let's jump in. So what's with the gloomy look? Left someone dear behind? Ah, uh, yeah, you could say that. Been there. So, Nord Sunday, we better buckle up. We've got some nasty weather coming in. I heard. Sadly, caring about storms is a luxury people in my line of work are rarely afforded. So, what kind of work is that? Special agent, violent crimes, Central Bureau. Well, shit. <laughs> it's just like, well, uh, oh well, that's a thing. I'm really liking the visual representation of this already. It's really, really lovely. Um, and also that voice acting, superb. Really superb work done there as well. All right, North Sun Workshop Hall. And we got a time there. Does that look like a gun? Got some icons. Oh, hello. You there. This is a restricted crime scene. Uh, I mean, at ease, Constable Special Agent Ingar is here. Hi there, I'm Vera. Your superior briefed you about me, right? Vera Ong's at the Central Bureau. Uh, let's do that one. Constable. Special Agent Anglin here. Oh, my apologies, Agent. I was expecting someone older. Oof. I'll take that as a wow. compliment. Now, brief me, please. Certainly, ma'am. The victim is Carl Oskarsson, age 33. Stabbed to death by an unknown assailant. He worked here as a carpenter and was found early this morning by a co-worker. He's sitting over there by the window. Got it. Alrighty, so tutorial. Vera's personality. Vera can advance three distinct personality traits. Em empathetic, assertive, and analytical. Your choices will influence all three affecting the course of the story and the tools at your disposal. Advancing one personality trait will always weaken the other two, so make your choices carefully. Alright. Sorry about the state of the crime scene. We're not used to this sort of thing. I get it, but I gotta tell you this isn't up to par, follow my lead, alright? Evidently, this entire room should have been evacuated. Staying clear of the body would have decreased the risk of contaminating it. Vindal, don't worry about it, Constable. This looks uh, quite typical. Oh, don't worry about it, Constable. I mean, it's... This looks, uh, quite typical. Don't hold back on my account, ma'am. I can handle criticism. Good to hear. Now, give me a second while I examine the body. Sure, I'll be here. It's one of those things, it's a crime scene, it's not going to be clean up, you know? The choice has amplified Vera's empathetic side. There will be many instances like this, strengthening one personality trait at the expense of the other two. So, is this where you use your x-ray vision? My what? Ah, uh, what now? Come on, you have to be aware of the rumors. How agents like you are supposed to be equipped with some kind of advanced cybernetics? Let's just see. I'm good at what I do. We'll leave it at that. The Central Bureau has a strict no comment policy on these types of inquiries. We'll have a talk about that, Gabriel, but I'd be breaking the rules. Let's, Let's just go with this. I'm good at what I do. We'll leave it at that. Oh, didn't mean to overstep my boundaries. Hush, hush. Got it. Right, use the left mouse button to walk and interact with objects. Space bar, tab, hold, display interactables in a room. Click one set inventory on the item to examine it, or drag and drop to combine it with other items. Right, so we can see here we've got this, we've got that, dormitory, policeman, corpse. 
All right, we've got multiple knife-sized stab wounds to the chest. I don't see a murder weapon, so I take it none was found at the scene? That's right. All knives and sharp tools in the building have been accounted for, too. It looks like the victim was attacked directly from the front. I don't see any major defense wounds, so this was either a surprise attack or the victim knew the perpetrator. This guy, maybe? Any potential suspects, Constable. Did Carl have enemies? None as far as we know. He seemed to be well-liked among the guys here, but the man who found him might know more. Oh, what you find? There was a photo in his chest pocket. So you're about so in the lower right corner you have your uh, are your augmentations toggled with single mouse click. Experiment with your augs to learn how they work. Additional tutorials will appear when needed. Later on you will unlock different augs depending on how you have shaped Vera's personality. The biometric analyzer will automatically lock onto nearby targets. You can also click the lock icon on your target to force analyzer to stay connected. Lastly, the biometric output may display emotional anomalies during dialogue. Click on them to make uh, them known to Vera before they disappear. Muscle boost. Muscle boost increases strength for a limited time. Interact with your target before the timer runs out, or it will need to be recharged. There's an old coin in here that looks stuck. I can probably pull it out using some extra strength. Got the Junk. coin. Uh, it's an old pre-collapse coin. No one would accept it as payment today. Huh. It's a bloody photograph of Carl and a young woman. Taken fairly recently by the look of it. He's holding hands with the woman, but I can't discern her face. Too much damage to the photo. She's wearing a brass necklace. Could be relevant. That forensic scanner. Alright, so drag and drop the, sc uh, the scanner to move it around. Oh. What do we got here? Analyzing. Oh, I like this. This is pretty cool. Deceased male, blood type, estimated time of death, T6 hours, DNA, prints, and blood shape added to data vault. Whoa, okay. Blade shape, should I say? Collecting scanner samples will be added to your data vault and you can be attached to the scanner for a target to search. Unlike smart scan, samples will allow detection in areas with a lot of contamination, such as picking up specific fingerprints in a room full of prints. Keep in mind that you won't find any new samples this way, so remember to use a smart scan mode too. Alright, so we got the blade shape. Matching data pattern. You got anything over there that I should know about? Mm. Cars by analyzing. Matching data DNA. That doesn't really. Alright. So we could turn that off. We could then go over here. Personal lockers to the workers here. Not sure which one belongs to Carl. Uh can we not just a row first a row first. I think we've got it. Matching data fingerprints. Okay. Okay. That must be Carl's locker. Hey. There we go. Let's have a wee look. I'm liking this sort of like sort of like. Incredibly strong though. I might be able to get it open with enough force. I'm liking these augmentation stuff and everything. The the sort of thing with that. It's actually pretty cool. Yoink. Please try not to wreck the place. Oh, no shush. For alarm. I just need to get this locker open. All right. So, what do we got here? There was a piece of paper in one of the inner pockets. Oh, the what's note this? looks like it was written by a woman. It reads, "Hi Doofus, you're registered now. Go try it out. Remember how you totally flipped the day I first came to Nordson? Kisses." Um nothing else. A pair some... of large boots with dirt under them. Anything else I should know about in there? Let's bring this up. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Matching DNA, so definitely this archive report. What about smart scan? Oh, what do we got here? So it contains traces of rare flora. Oh, okay. Saffron. 
Add it to the data bolt. Alright, so we'll get the boot print blade shape. Of course that is matching da, okay. No problem. Now it's your turn. Be quick and to the point, he doesn't look too happy here. Take your time to console the clear distressed man. Begin by asking about his bloody hands. Looks can deceive if he's guilty. Stalling would give him a chance to come up with a lie. Hey there. What's your name? I'm Alfred. Carl's friend. Well, we were friends. Now he's gone. Are you doing okay? Do you have somebody to talk to after this? I'll be okay. Please just ask your question so I can go home. All right. You know, it contains two sections, notes and people. You can click the arrows in the corners to toggle between them. You can show the inventory items during dialogue by simply clicking on them. All right. So, Carl. Do you know who wrote this note to Carl? Afraid not. I don't recognize the handwriting. Okay. What about I this? I don't need to know his opinion on that. Yep. Oh. Have a look at this picture. Do you know who the woman is? Uh. Yeah, that's just some old girlfriend of Carl's from ages ago. Why was he walking around so. the picture? It doesn't look that old. At least Carl looks about the same. Guess the guy aged well. Any other questions? Oh, hmm. Do you know anything about saffron plants? Nope. I know we grow them in Nordson, but that's it. Why don't you tell me about what happened this morning? Okay. I get up early from my morning smoke. Keep my smokes in my locker, so I came in here. I saw Carl lying in the corner. It was still kind of dark, so I thought he'd fallen and hurt himself. I ran over to him. That's when I noticed the blood, and I guess I was kind of in shock, so I tried to stop the bleeding, but then I felt how cold he was. I yelled for help. The guys came running, and then Josef, our foreman, sent someone to go get the police. Okay. When was the last time you saw Carl alive? Late last night, or around midnight. He stayed up with us playing cards, which is unusual. Unusual? How so? Well, it was rare for Carl to stick around in the evenings. He usually went out by himself. Oh. Do you know where he used to go? No idea. He didn't talk much about that. Maybe he went to the canteen to meet some friends. Anyway, Carl seemed a bit anxious last night. He seemed distracted. Got it. Thanks for the info. All right, so... Can you tell me a little bit about Carl? Sure. I've known him since I started working here four years ago. We instantly hit it off. He had a great sense of humor. He used to be so cheerful, you know? Always kidding around, always with a smile on his face. But then about a year ago, something happened. He became absent-minded and humorless. I know people can change, but this came seemingly from nowhere. Huh. What do you think caused this shift? No idea. Whatever it was, he wouldn't confide in me about it. Okay, so that That's is that. Questions for now. Okay. Right, okay, let's head over to you just now. Because I feel like we need to How's do a little bit of catch. Yes, Agent. Do you know anything about saffron plants? I know we grow them here in Nordsund, but I'm not sure exactly where. We have vegetables all over. All right. I've already spoken to him about that. Okay, that's all I need for now. Very well, Agent. Constable. Yes, Agent. I found this in Carl's coat. What do you make of it? Not sure. But it's a bit strange that the person who wrote this couldn't just tell him face to face. Maybe they didn't want to risk being seen together. Or the note's author needed to leave in a hurry. Yeah, could be. Hmm. I don't need to know his opinion on that. Do you know who the woman in this photo is? Too hard to tell. Sorry. All right, that's okay, that. That's all I need for now. Very well, agent. So we have this, and we get that. Okay, let's because uh, we got the. So let's go to the dormitory. Hey, I'm gonna go check out the dorm. Where's Carl's bed? Turn left and then go straight. I left the light on so it'd be easy for you to find. Gotcha. Be all right. right. Time to investigate. I'm liking because I tend to be a bit on the fence when it comes to point and click, but this this is nice. 
Let's see, what do we got here? Two locker room, we got a bag, bump beds, desk, ventilation tube. Alright. Huh. Odd place for a ventilation duct. I feel like we should uh bust sure, that. I could try to use brute force, but I'd risk Let's see. Oh, hello. What do we got here? Matching data. So it has these fingerprints on it. There are a lot of prints around a panel on the air duct. Smart scan, not picking up anything. Footprint, blade shape, no, okay. The panel is screwed on tight. Oh. Ventilation panel. Why don't we just do sure. that? Ugh. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. What about desk? Pens what about that? Nothing out of the ordinary. What about a chest? Clean clothes and sheets. Nothing. Okay, what about the bunk beds? Both beds look recently used. A bank? Dirty laundry. Sm hmm. Huh. Let's see. So you got that there, obviously. Oh, hello. So we got fingerprints there. Right, so that all hmm. I've looked there already. Hmm. Anything? No. Footprints. No? Hmm. So there doesn't seem to be really anything here, like, at all. I mean, obviously we have that. Um... It's an old pre-collapse coin. Well, I guess we're now going back out then. Because nothing's there. We, we want to get that ventilation shaft open. But... Constable. Yes, Agent. Hey, do you happen to know where I can get a screwdriver? Not really. The foreman collected all the tools and locked them up after the murder. Well, that means we can go to the foreman okay, then. That's all I need. Very well, Agent. Let's head that way then. Not yet. I think the witness knows more than he's letting on. Oh. A few more. He's anxious. Hey, do you happen to know where I can get a screwdriver? Oh, okay. I have one. I'll need it back though. Oh, sure, thanks. That seemed rather. That's that seemed really easy. Okay. Hmm. All right, over here. The panel is screwed on. It's the screwdriver that Alfred. There we go. What have we got in here then? There was a small key hidden inside the duct. It's a chest, maybe? Nothing else in there. I don't see any key. Nope. That lock. Okay then. Go back to him just now. I kind of want to analyze him as well. If I may. Any idea of what this key opens? Nope, haven't seen a key like that before. Here's your screwdriver back. Thanks for lending it to me. You're welcome. Happy to help. Hmm. That's enough questions. For okay. Let's go over to you. Constable. Yes, Agent. Any idea of what this key could open? Nope, but it looks small. Some kind of drawer, maybe a filing cabinet or something. So we have filing cabinet okay, potentially. That's all I need for now. Very well, agent. This seems to be 
the only area that we can go. I want to see. Do we have anything else? Wait a minute. Human blood type B, DNA mismatch with current carrier, oh, pattern indicates bottom. That would suggest that he likely only touched the body after death. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, take that away and head to the dormitory again. So it seems to be like seeing some sort of drawer. I mean, is it gonna let me use on this? I don't see any keyholes on this desk. Can we break I it? I don't think I can. Desk. You small key. You can use it that with it. That combination makes no sense. Well, that's me told. You smoke you a bag. That combination makes. This chest. Nope. Hmm. Okay then. Not yet. I. A few more questions, if I may. All right. Let's see. No, that's. Pro Are see you sure happened. about this woman? Yes, I told you, old girlfriend from before. I mean, he is anxious, anomaly detected. Logically explaining that he has nothing to gain by being deceptive, be stern about it, he's clearly been dishonored, tried to appeal to his conscience. You should know that it would not serve your best interests to hide information from me. By refusing to cooperate, you'll force me to escalate the situation with a formal interrogation at the police station. None of that is necessary. I'm only interested in finding Carl's murderer. I'm, I'm sorry. I gave him a promise. Mm -hmm. The photo. Carl is still seeing her. Well, was, I suppose. Why wouldn't you tell me that from the beginning? It was a secret. Carl said they would both get in trouble if anybody knew. Why would they get into trouble? An affair? I didn't ask, but yeah, it could be. All right. Tell me everything you know about this woman. Carl said she lived somewhere north of town, but that's all I know. Okay. I believe you. All right, mysterious I'm woman. Almost done here. I should just talk to the constable before I go. That's enough questions. For okay. I got a constable. Hey, I think I'm done here. Oh, okay. My it seems like the murder could be tied to a secret relationship Carl had with a woman, but I'm leaving all options open. Sounds reasonable. You have a lead to follow up on? Yes. I have reason to believe that Carl recently passed through an area with saffron plants somewhere in Nordson. Maybe I can correlate that with Carl's movements to the north of town when seeing that woman. Good. Meanwhile, we'll transport the body to the morgue and have an autopsy performed as soon as possible. Do you want us to keep the area sealed off? No need. I'm done here and won't come back. You can let the men get back to work. Very well. I'll let them know. By the way, how do I get to the police station from here? Just head straight east outside. You'll see it. Got it. I love it, so it's just head straight east. You won't, you won't miss it. Oh, this is a pretty cool museum. Ele an elevator? I don't need to go down to the ground right now. Pfft, fine. Workers, policemen, museum, wreck. All right. And we can see everything here to town square. I believe that's where we're going. Oh, look how cool this looks, actually, though. This is the town square. That building with the emblem must be the police station. I mean, I would guess so. I would guess so. But guys, I don't want to push this any further. I'm going to leave it there for the Smash look. So you have had a nice little tidbit of what Whispers of... The, my wording? Whispers of a Machine is all about. I will leave all the relevant links down below. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you've seen at Smash Game, be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back for more. And I'll see you all next time.